So let's A some cues. Tanner Carson asks about roommate relationships. Now I've only ever had a roommate in the context of a college dorm where we had to fill out a roommate agreement at the beginning of the year, a la Sheldon Cooper. Although we kind of scoffed at it at the time, I think the basic principle of a roommate agreement is a really good idea. If not drafting it all up formal-like, at least discussing some of that stuff at the beginning can be very helpful. How often do we clean the bathroom slash kitchen slash shared common areas? What's our policy on overnight guests? Do we have quiet hours? Can we use each other's stuff slash eat each other's food with permission, without permission, never? Above all, keep the lines of communication open. If your roommate's 2 a.m. Bohemian Rhapsody air guitar sessions are driving you a little bit crazy, let them know instead of letting it build up and fester and just passive aggressively drinking their orange juice. KBWM1212 asks for advice on how to flirt. Okay, just for funsies, I went to Cosmo.com to see what they had to say on this topic, and I found some tips, such as the following. Check out a cutie on the subway. Look at him for two seconds, look away, and then look back through lowered lashes. And that brought up a lot of questions. First of all, do I count these seconds? One Mississippi. One Mississippi. Two, two Mississippi. Mississippi. Is he looking back at me when this is happening? How long do I look away for? And when I look back, I'm pretty sure that if my eyelashes are lowered, my eyes are closed. I have yet to figure out the logistics of that. <laughs> when it comes to flirting, I am no expert, but I have noticed in my flirting gambits that some of the same stuff comes up. I usually try to do three things. One, paying the other person compliments. Two, asking the other person questions. And three, trying to make the other person laugh. If you haven't seen our episode, How to Ask Someone Out, I will link you to that below. In that episode, we presented the indirect method for asking someone out. And some people in the comments section said, all right, stop collaborate and listen. Some people thought that the indirect method might be convenient for the ask-er, but it might not be fair to the ask-e to not present the situation as a date from the very beginning. And I think that's a very valid point, and I thank you for bringing it up. So if you go and check out that video, make sure to scroll down to the comment section and check out some of the conversation that's occurring there. Jasmine asks, are there certain questions I should ask my landlord before I sign a lease? So this is gonna be an Emma and Mike tag team duo. Like the roommate question, we're gonna answer this question with a series of questions. How much is the security deposit? Do they want first month and last month's rent when you sign the lease or do they just want one of those two? When you're moving in you should also be clear about the financial obligations you'll face if you break your lease. Some states you have to pay rent until someone else gets in the apartment. Sometimes you just lose a deposit. What's the policy on parking? Do you have to pay for a space? Is there covered parking? If you live in a place where it snows, are they gonna plow the parking lot? What's included in the utilities? Do you get water, electricity, sewage, trash? Is there a pet fee? Do you have to pay to have a pet? Can you have dogs over a certain size? Before you move in, if it's important to you, you can usually also check crime stats for the neighborhood online. Also, in that same vein, I would recommend actually going to the apartment at two different times of day, like one during the day and then drive past in the evening or at night. On the day of the move-in, you should also get written documentation of any damages that are in the apartment. You don't want to be on the hook to pay for the damages that were already there. Blood and Kool-Aid asks about building a rapport and or friendship with professors in college. I actually consulted a professor on this one, and the professor said that probably rather than a friendship, what you should pursue with a professor in college is a mentorship. Make an appointment to meet with your professor outside of class in in their office if they have one and bring specific things to talk about at that meeting. For example, you could say, I really liked your lecture on XYZ. I would love to talk about it with you more further. Say it better. This, this is an academic environment. <laughs> professor consultant also recommended exchanging emails with that professor so you can keep in touch with them and let them know what you're up to. Professor consultant finished up by saying, and I quote, it never hurts to bring a food bribe. Just putting that out there. Starius2 asks, how would I go about asking Jennifer Lawrence out? I, oh, I could only think of two, and not even full pickup lines, Okay. but just something to do with loins catching fire. <laughs> and then something about, I'm an American, but this is no hustle. You're famous, you're Jennifer Lawrence. I'm just X-Man, but I'm first class. <laughs> and that's all we've got for you today. If you've got thoughts, comments, questions, more advice, different or better advice on any of the stuff discussed here today, please leave it for us in the comments section below. We love to hear from you. In the meantime, imagine the best catchphrase in the history of spoken word and imagine me saying it right now. 
But we didn't even touch on pickup lines in our How to Ask Someone Out video. Have, have you ever had, like, used one or no. had one? No, no I, I mean, it. one time someone was like, we should hang out sometime, which is not like a pickup. I know that's Josh yeah. Sundquist's, like, great way to ask someone out, which I think is a good way to ask someone out. Funniest kid I've ever met is my 12-year-old cousin. I play Xbox with him all the time. The first day of first grade, he got detention. Do you want to know why? Yes. He went up to the lunch lady and said, so, you come here often? Oh my God. <laughs>